how you doing? I'm Pat Gallon. I'm from One Team Kitchen. I'm going to take you through a couple of real simple, easy dishes to make today. Good summertime food. I harvested some local products. One of them, striped bass right here. I got this on the spring run. Um, we have Jersey tomatoes. I got cheese from the Brunos in South Philly. I got herbs from the garden. We have a garden full of fresh herbs. I got bread from a versus bakeries. They're from Brigantine. They have three other shops. They have great bread. You can tell I like it. Can you tell I like it? We got some Barnegat Lager from Ship Bottom Brewery. They're out of Beach Haven. Uh, Hank's Sauce, Ship Bottom, right? No, not no, no, not Ship Bottom. They're from Sea Isle. Sea Isle, right? I got Spanky's Candles. Anybody know Spanky? Some of you do, some of you don't. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick bruschetta. We're gonna grill some some fresh striped bass. We're gonna do some grilled side veggies, real easy stuff. I have an infused garlic oil here. Again, fresh herbs. I got oregano in there, some garlic, a little bit of basil, uh, salt and pepper, right? My wife makes this wonderful, wonderful uh, sun tea, right? Uh, fresh mint, lemons. We didn't grow the lemons here. We tried, it doesn't work. Not in the yard anyway. Um, she has some uh, cinnamon sticks in there. Um, fresh mint local honey right we got honey from from jersey so what i'm going to do is i'll take you through making the bruschetta it's real simple i'll take you through grilling the bass i'll take you through how to grill the bread and then we'll put it all together and i'll give you a few options of, of whether you want to eat it for an entree you can make appetizers but let me tell you about this fish so me and my brother surf fish my oldest nephew sean too so me and my brother jack are down in holgate South end of Long Beach Island, we're doing the spring run. Uh, we're fishing early Sunday morning. Fish grabs hold of my line, starts screaming line. So I'm, it's running south. I'm going north, trying to get it out of the jetty. It got over the jetty. My line's getting all in through the jetty and it's screaming. And it's, I can feel my line getting all frayed. There's no way I'm gonna get this fish. I jumped up over the jetty. I got on the north side of it fish is all tangled in the jetty the lines like that and I'm watching it go so I opened the bale and the fish ran I closed the bale and I can't believe it. the fish is still on there right so I get the fish on long story short I was in a tournament I took him to, I took it to jingles to get it weighed in it was a tournament it ended up being a tournament winner we don't harvest a lot of these fish but we harvested this one it was skinny I split it with my brother we got about six meals out of it. So this is what's left of it. And this is what my wife and I, Karen, are going to eat for dinner. So we got to feed four people today. We're feeding Frosty, Happy Jack, me and my wife, Karen. I'll take you through the next phases of this and we'll put together the bruschetti and then I'll do some grilling. Right. So here we go. We're going, to, we're going to take you through this bruschetta, right? So I got a nice fresh Jersey tomato, right? Beautiful fresh Jersey tomato, right? Here's the waste on a tomato. Stop throwing away the tops and the bottoms, right? We got a red onion. Some people don't put onions in there. I do in mine. I'll show you how to peel it real quick. Just off the top and bottom. Quick peel, right? That's all the waste is on an onion. You don't need to cut them real deep. You don't need to take half of it away and you just have the middle, right? So, my wife and I are from big families. She's one of 14, I'm one of nine, right? So we didn't waste anything. So I'll give you a quick version of this, but the tomato, all this is edible, right? You don't need to throw away the tops and the bottoms, right? So what you wanna do is stack, slice through, turn. At least true. Okay, so this top and bottom, right? It's easier if you cut these on their own. But slice through, rock your knife. Make sure you keep all your fingers. Oh, hear that rocking? It's rocking, isn't it? Okay. Okay, so there's the tomato, right? Tomato right in there. 
I'll do it real quick on the onion dice. So I got about, I guess about four to one on onions, tomato to onion, right? So, see that piece there? That's a little bit. We're gonna take that off because that's gonna be tough. Okay, take that off. So see these lines in the onions? Real easy way to, to begin to dice, right? Take your knife, paper dolls, right? You don't wanna cut all the way through. You wanna cut most of the way through. So you take your tip, see my finger here? Got your thumb in the back holding. Just take and pull down, pull down towards you, right? I'm using those lines as guides. Some people cut like that. And I don't think you need to do all that. But same thing. Use this. Use this as a guide. Slice through. Okay. That olive oil is rocking. So anyway, we got tomatoes. We got onion. Chiffonade basil. Roll it up like that. You pick the leaves. Same thing. Rock through there. Shifting on a basil. So this is easy, right? If you want to get a little bit more tangy, I found some of these um, heirloom tomatoes, teardrops. These are also from Jersey. Right? Quick dice. This will give it that. You don't want to use like hothouse tomatoes for this stuff. That, 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 they, they they bred them to so that they would ship. So they they pick them green and they um, they're a sturdier tomato and they don't bruise and Jersey tomatoes. I know at Rutgers they developed one, but it never really caught on. But anyway, there's your tomato and diced onion, right? Beautiful. Hey, South Philly, the Bruno's cheese. More basil, some fresh garlic, a little pinch of sea salt, cracked black pepper. All right, don't get all bent out of shape about measuring stuff. Just keep practicing. So here's what we got, right? I got, um, I got some of those peppers. A lot of the supermarkets are selling these. We got these on sale. We got a big bag for like 250, right? Real easy to grill, right? So all you do, a little bit of olive oil, right? I'm gonna do the same thing to mushrooms, portobellos, baby ports. A little bit of olive oil, all right? They're out of uh, Kennett Square. It's in the uh, suburb of Philly, all right? So a little salt, less pepper. Right, we're gonna get like a medium hot grill. Right, so I'll take this stuff over to the grill. Right, so here's your peppers. Real simple stuff, right? So when we have when we have steaks, I'll do these too. Get away there, get over there. All right. So right on the grill, I'll lay them out. Right, hear that char? You don't want to grill. You want to preheat this, right? You got your peppers, you got your mushrooms. And when you pick mushrooms, right, you want to pick them so the gills aren't showing. The gills are those inside, they look like gills, right? So a closed mushroom. See that? Closed mushroom. So we got peppers, we got mushrooms. Put them over there. Here's the fish, right? So, we got a medium hot grill, right? So what I did was, I have like three like dinner sized portions of this. But I also have some that we're gonna use for our d'oeuvres, right? I rubbed these with uh, some rosemary some lemon juice on them, some olive oil, salt and pepper, right? We're gonna put them tomatoes on there, see if they survive, do some blister tomatoes. See if they make it without falling through the grill, right? Okay, so we got that going on. 
So if you want to go like medium high heat, you don't want to do these uh, do these vegetables. You want to get some char on them. It's, it's not burning. It doesn't taste like it's burnt. It's char, right? See that char a little bit? Oop. So let them get charred. You don't want to overcook these to turn them into mush. Right, so what we're going to do is let them go for a little bit. We got the striper going. This will let you know when it's ready to be turned. It'll release itself from the grill, right? So we're going to let that go for a little bit. And then for the bread, all I did, right, I got that infused olive oil, right? You just want to paint a little bit of that on. You can also get uh, fresh garlic. Just cut a clove, rub it on the bread. So you cut it, get that flavor going on in there. So you just want to paint it a little bit. Same thing with this. Push that down and get some grill marks. Right, let all that stuff happen. You got your bruschetta. We got this stuff grilling. And then, uh, you know when fish is done? When it's done. <laughs> How many minutes on this side? How many minutes on that side? Depends on thickness, depends on the density of the fish, depends on how hot your grill is, it depends on a lot of things. So, um, but usually a couple minutes, turn, get the, get the grill marks, a couple minutes, turn. You want to cook your fish to about 140. So if you got a thermometer, put it into the fattest part of the fish. If you get 140, you're good. So we did two different two different versions of the same dish, right? We have one you serve as an entree, right? So we did the grilled striper, the grilled bread. We have bruschetta on the top. I did some grilled mushrooms and peppers, some blistered tomatoes, right? A little bit of fresh lemon, fresh basil, right? As an entree. And then you can do it if you're doing an hors d'oeuvre party. I just have small pieces of grilled striper, the bruschetta on the toasted bread. You can drizzle a little bit of olive oil on there, a little more olive oil. So there are your two versions. So um, real easy stuff, real easy ingredients, great summer food. If you can't get striper and you don't fish and they don't really sell it in the supermarkets, that you can use sea bass or any type of uh, fish that has, uh, you, you don't really want to grill flounder. It'll, it'll never make the flip. It'll go, you know, fall through the grill. So you want to use a, a fish that has some substance that can stand up to it. So um, that's it for the day. We're gonna have some some early dinner and I hope you enjoyed the video.